Hi, my name is Sarah Corey. I am 14 years old. I will be singing Letter from the Refuge, and I will be auditioning for the role of Crutchy. Dear Jack, greetings from the refuge. How are you? I'm okay. Guess I wasn't much help yesterday. Snyder soaked me real good with my crutch. Oh yeah, Jack. This is Crutchy, by the way. These here gods, they is rude. They say jump, boy, you jump, but you're screwed. But the food ain't so badly so far. Cause so far they ain't brung us no food. Huh? Huh. I miss the rooftops. Sleeping right out in the open in your penthouse in the sky. There's a cool breeze blowing, even in July. Anyways, so guess what? There's a secret escape plan I got. Tie a sheet to the bed, toss the end out the window, climb down and take off like a shot. Maybe though, not tonight. I ain't slept and my legs still ain't right. Hey, but Pulitzer, he's going down. And then Jack, I was thinking we might just go like you were saying. Where it's clean and green and pretty with no buildings in your way. And you're riding Palominos every day. Once that train makes Damn this place. I'll be fine. Good as new. Oh, but there's one thing I need you to do. On the rooftop you said that a family looks out for each other. So would you tell all the fathers for me to protect one another? The end. Your friend. Your best friend, your brother, Crutchy. Try my life. People look at you because your dad's the famous Harry Potter, savior of the wizarding world. People look at me because they think my dad is Voldemort. Voldemort. Can you even slightly imagine what that's like? Have you ever even tried? No. Because you can't see beyond the end of your nose. You can't see beyond the end of your stupid thing with your dad. He will always be Harry Potter. You know that, right? And you will always be his son. And I know it's hard, and the other kids are awful. But you have to learn to be okay with that. Because there are worse things, okay? There was a time that I was excited. A time that I thought, Maybe my mom hadn't gotten sick. Maybe my mom wasn't dead. But no. Turns out, she was. I'm still the child of Voldemort, giving sympathy to the boy who never gives anything back. So I'm sorry if I ruined your life. Because I tell you, you didn't have a chance of ruining mine. It was already ruined. You just didn't make it better. Because you're a terrible, most terrible friend.